Hello everybody, I'm back again. I'm glad to be back. And today I have a new topic to show you and I think it's going to be very useful to you. Um, and I'm going to explain this topic to you by presenting a problem. And it is write a function that clears bit zero. So the function is called clear bit zero and it takes its parameter value in A1, in register A1, and it clears the first bit or bit zero in that value. And then it's going to return the new value or the result in V0. So for example, let's say that you give it a number um, 10, 11. In decimal is 11. In binary, 10, 11. So after you clear the first bit or bit zero, this one is the first bit from the right. So it's going to become a zero. So you 10, 11 becomes 10, 10. So as you can see here, binary representation, 10, 11 is 11 in decimal becomes 10, 10, which is 10 in decimal. So how can we do this? How can we solve this problem? Um, in order to clear the first bit, we need to use another number called a mask. And the mask is just a number that we make that is going to allow us to clear the first bit. And that number, um, we it's going to be this one right here. Um, why? Well, because we're going to use bwise end operation. We're going to use bwise end. So let's say that we take, let's go down here. This is 11 in decimal. But let's say that we take this 11 and we have the mask. And, um, when we do 1, b wise and 0, we get 0. So this is going to be clear. But the other numbers here, they will remain the same because the mask has all 1's here. So 1, b wise and 0 is 0. So you're going to get 0 and 1, 0, 0 and 1, 0, 0 and 1, 0, all the way to here. And then 1 and 1 is 1, 0 and 1 is 0, 1 and 1 is 1, but the first b you have 1 and 0, so this is 0. So the first bit has been cleared. So you can see that 10, 11, when you do the b wise end with a mask, it's going to give you 10, 10. And that's going to do the trick. So now that you know that we need a mask, how can we make a mask? So let me just move this here and move this here so you can focus more on the idea. To make the mask, we can take negative 1 because the binary representation of negative 1 is all 1's. And after that, we want to be, we want the first bit to be a 0. So, we can simply shift this to the left by 1, and this is going to give us the first bit to be a 0. Okay, so this is how we make the mask. And in assembly, in MIPS assembly, we have, a, we have an instruction called shift left logical. I already talked about this instruction in one of my previous tutorials, but in that tutorial, I showed you that shift left logical uh, allows you to multiply. But in this case, we're not going to use it for multiplication. We're going to use it for bit manipulation. So, how do I know that the bit, the binary representation of negative 1 is all 1's? Well, as you probably know, in computers, um, in many computers, negative numbers are represented in 2's complement. So to complement means that if you have a positive number, in order to get a negative version, you just have to flip all the bits and add one, and that's going to give you the negative version. So for example, this right here, in decimal, this is number one. So if I want to get negative one, I flip all the bits. 
So all the zero becomes one, and all the ones become zero. And this is one's complement, but I have to take two's complement. So the next step is just to add one to it. So I'm going to add one to it. And what I get is all ones. So that's why negative one is all ones in binary. Hopefully this is not too confusing, you know. Uh, the main idea is that we want to make a function that you give it a number and the function is going to clear the first bit in that number. So 1011 becomes 1010 because we clear the first bit. And what we do is that we make a mask and we use a uh, b wise n operation. And you saw that if we, if we can make a mask that has all ones, but the first value is a zero. When we do b wise end, all these values in the in the original number will not be affected. They will remain the same. You can see that all these values remain the same in the result. But the first bit, if it is a one, it's gonna become a zero, so it's gonna be cleared. If it is a zero, it's gonna remain a zero. Okay, so that's the main idea. Um, we're gonna use the shift left logical operation and it's going to allow us to uh, make our mask after we take negative one and we shift by to the left by one. And now I'm going to open Mars. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to jump into the code to show you how all this is implemented in assembly. So I'm going to uh, make a new file I'm gonna save it to my desktop and I'm gonna call it bid clearing that ASM you can call it whatever you want but I'm gonna save and I have my data section as usual in the data section I'm gonna have a new line carrot a new line string so I'm going to have this because I want to display my number uh, nicely. I want to be able to see the number nicely on the screen. So this is this is for good uh, looks. Then I'm going to have my text section, my main procedure, and Remember that it's always good practice to tell the operating system that this is the end of the program. So loading media dollar sign v0 comma 10 syscall. So this is just 10 is the code number to end the program. And then Cisco is to uh, indicate this Cisco to the operating system. So initially, I'm gonna do loading media that assign a1 comma 11. So I'm putting number 11 into a1, and then I want to show that number to a screen. So I'm gonna say jump and link show number, and show number is a function that I haven't made yet, but I will make it down here later. But for now, I just want you to see the main function. So I'm gonna finish the main function, and then I'm gonna work on the on the other functions. So display 11 to the screen. Then I'm gonna pass 11 to A1 again. It's already there. A1 has 11, but just to make it clear, I want to pass 11 to A1 again, put it there. And I want to jump and link or call the function clear b0, which I haven't made yet, but I will make it. So <clears throat> this function here takes 11 as an argument in a1, and it's going to clear the first bit. So this is going to become 10, because 10, 11 becomes 10, 10, and 10, 10 is 10 in decimal. 10, 10, 10 in binary is 10 in decimal. And it's going to return that 10, that new value, in V0. 
So I'm going to move to $A1 the value returned by clear bit zero, the value in V0. And then when I jump and link, call the function show number. So this is going to show the number that has the, the bit zero cleared. So this is going to be 10. This is going to show 10. OK. So now I'm going to come down here. I'm going to write my function show number. Remember that this function expects um, the argument or the number to be displayed in $A1. So loading media dollar sign v0 comma four. This is the system call to display text. And in this case, I want to display the new line. So I put the new line to the address here, load address to a zero, and then Cisco. And then I want to display the number loading media dollar sign v0 comma one. Move to A0, the value in A1. So I'm going to pass the argument to A0. And I'm going to display that number. And finally, jump register dollar sign RA to go back to the calling function. So this function is just going to display a new line right here. Then it's going to display uh, the number that you passed in A1 right here and then it's just going to go back to the to the calling function so it's going to co jump to the next instruction here let's say you call it here it's going to come back here that's this right here now we're going to go to the main part of this tutorial and this is clear bit zero this is the function clear bit zero first of all i'm going to use the register s zero uh, for my mask so mask is dollar s zero but because I'm gonna use this register here by convention I have to save it to the stack because it is coli saved so I'm gonna say add immediate dollar sign sp dollar sign sp comma negative four allocating space in the stack for one value because uh, it is four bytes I say four and I say negative because the stack grows downward in MIPS so store word dollar s0 zero dollar sp okay and now we're gonna go to the main part here first we wanna make a mask so make the mask initially I'm gonna say loading media dollar sign s0 comma negative one so now I have negative 1 in S0. Remember that negative 1 is all 1's. So negative 1 in decimal is all 1's in binary. But now I want to shift it to the left because I want the first value to be a 0. So I'm going to use my instruction shift left logical. So I'm going to say shift left logical dollar S0 dollar S0 comma 1. So now $S0 gets the value of S0 shifted by 1 to the left. So now S0 has this. All ones except the first one, which is a 0. And this is my mask. And now <clears throat> we come down here. <clears throat> we have the original number, we have the mask, and then we just have to use B wise end to clear the first bit. So we can say end dollar v0. I'm putting this in v0 because I, this is the return value. I'm going to return in register v0. Dollar a1 dollar s0. So the value in the argument, which is 1011, with the mask that I made, which is all ones except for the first bit, which is a 0 and b wise end 
what I get is the number, the original number that I passed in, but with the first bit equals to zero. I and I'm gonna get it here, so uh, I can just retrieve it from main later. And that's it. Now I just need to restore the value of a zero that it had before. This is just convention. Remember that because this, I'm using an S register, you need to restore the value. And then restore the stack. Dollar SP, comma four. And then just jump register dollar RA. And now this should be good. We're gonna test it and we're gonna say wrong, assemble, execute. And as you can see, we have 11 first, but then after we clear the first bit, we get 10. So it's working properly. So a quick recap, uh, show 11 to the screen. Now clear the first bit in 11, that's, that's gonna give you 10. And, uh, and now uh, display that 10 to the screen and end the program. Show number, show new line, and display the number that you passed in in A1, and go back. And for bit zero, clear bit zero, just uh, because we're using S0, um, just store that value in the stack. And now make a mask, negative one is all ones, shift it by one to the left, and then use bitwise end to clear the first bit. And then restore the value and go back. So I hope this was useful. It's been a long time. I was very busy and I'm still very busy, but I wanted to make a tutorial um, because it's been a while. And next time, hopefully, I will make more tutorials about bit manipulation, algorithms, uh, sorting algorithms in assembly, and maybe dynamic memory allocation and thank you for watching these tutorials uh, and I hope that they were useful and uh, see you next time